grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The Real Enemy is July 30th morning entry from Dr. David Jeremiah's Turning Points with God, 365 Daily Devotions. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Ephesians 6.12 For many years, medical researchers thought that the stomach ulcers were caused by stress and spicy foods. Then in 1982, two Australian researchers discovered the Helicobacter pylori bacterium and proved that it was the cause of some stomach ulcers. In 1994, the National Institutes of Health agreed and recommended treating ulcers with antibiotics instead of with milk. In medicine, the enemy has to be identified before the proper defense can be used. And the same is true in the spiritual life. Many Christians, while believing in the devil generally, have not identified him as being the enemy of their personal life. The Apostle Paul wrote that the Christian struggle in life is against spiritual powers under the control of Satan. To fail to identify one's true enemy is to fail to defeat him. It takes spiritual defenses to defeat a spiritual enemy. When you find yourself in a soul-sick state, make sure you identify the cause. If it's spiritual in nature, only God's spiritual remedies will cure you. To end, a quote from Billy Graham, Jesus invited us not to a picnic, but to a pilgrimage, not to a frolic, but to a fight. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen.